Welcome back to another video and today we are talking about how search engines store data or at least how they might store data because very often a search engine won't reveal its secrets. Now what we've got here is every word in the dictionary in alphabetical order listed down a text file or at least I've got a sample of every word in the dictionary just to illustrate the point. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a note of every web page that features each of these words. So as you know, every web page has got a URL associated with it, a unique resource location or locator. It's your web page, your, your, your website address that you would type into your browser. But uh, what you might not know is that each of those is actually represented by a number and the, the fancy text that you see is just a, a nice human way of representing that number. But all of them are numbers. Not that that really matters because the same thing would work with the, the text web address as well. So let's take two sample web pages to see how a search engine would store these data. I've got two web pages now. URL 1 and URL 2 and those numbers have obviously been simplified. So the first is the lyrics to the song Oranges and Lemons and the second is some sort of uh, recipe. And what we would do is just record which of the web pages each word appears on. So the word beat appears on the second web page. So we would put in there number two. The word bells appears on number one. And we would have, it's called a bot. So we would have a, a software program go and read every single web page in existence. Some of them won't allow our bot to go there. Some of them will block our bot and that's fine. But every web page that allows our bot in will be will be uh, uh, analysed by our bot and our bot will take a note of the web page that features each of these words. And our search engine index will now look like this. So we've got a record of all of the web pages in our in our web, in our World Wide Web. Uh, so we've only got two pages, but we've documented which words feature where. So if someone comes along to our search engine and searches for the word blended, our search engine will go down to here and return the web page to. And as you can imagine, there'll be hundreds of web pages, millions, sorry, of web pages here. And uh, we don't need seven in there twice. And what we will do to optimize our search engine is we will put the most relevant ones here and the least relevant ones here. And to search the web, it's just a little bit more advanced than searching the dictionary. So the, the computer only has to find the word that we're looking for and then return the results. Now, what if we are searching for the song Oranges and Lemons? Well, the word oranges appears on web page one and web page two, and the word lemons appears in uh, web page one and web page two. How can we get our search engine to return the lyrics and not the recipe? Well, what we will do is as well as storing the web page in our search engine index, we will also make a note of the position of each word. So the word beat appears, I think if you count it, it appears in position 23 or 24. So not only do we record web page two, but we record whereabouts in web page two that the word beat appears. And when we do that, it will look like this. So now when someone comes along and searches for oranges and lemons, what we want to do, we can ignore the and, 
because AND is so common, we want to search for web pages that have oranges at position N and lemons at position N plus 2. So oranges is on web page 2 at position 14. We would then look for lemons at position 16. And it isn't. So we would say that web page 2 doesn't have the information that we're looking for. But web page 1 has oranges at position 1 and lemons at position 3. Therefore, we would return web page 1 in preference to web page 2. And this is an alternative way of structuring data, alternative to, say, a relational database. And it's much more, uh, well, it's messier and it's, um, it requires programming to process, cannot be processed simply with a language such as SQL. And it's important to note that when you search on the web, so when you go to a web page such as Google, a search engine such as Google, and type in a, a, a term that you're looking for, the computer does not search the web. That would take forever. The computer searches this index, and this index is highly optimized, and it is stored to make it super fast to search by, by Google. So we're not searching the web, we are searching this search engine index. And the, this index would be a, a crucial resource, a crucial asset to Google. In fact, it might be the most important asset that Google own. So that's search engines.